Hey guys, SPC here, and welcome back to another episode of the Mario Kart Tour series. And first things first, let's head to the shop and check out, check that out. Um, and I'm actually going to buy retro or classic Mario. I was gonna pull a pipe, but yeah, nah. Yeah, eh, I'll still pull a pipe. Three rubies, okay. So let's pull a couple of these then. Another baby Mario, okay. And can't wait till we get rid of this stuff and we can just buy the stuff we want with the rubies instead of having to pull them via a pipe. Let's see. I actually want Toad. Yeah. Can we buy Coin Rush? No. Wait, can't I buy I can buy a coin rush ticket from the from the event shop. Awesome. Um so yeah, let's let's start out this recording with Coin Rush and then we'll jump into grinding the rank cup. Cause I need to do that. Now I would stream it on Twitch, but for some reason my Twitch is really buggy at the moment, so I'm just going to do it via the Mario Kart, or via the commentated Mario Kart Tour series. Now, I could do it with the no commentary series, but I'm in a position where I can actually commentate for once, so um, yeah. I'm in a position where I can actually commentate for once, so I'm going to commentate. Um, so I want to talk about the Nintendo Direct that has been rumored for this week, um, and what it might contain. Now, I'm going to be cautiously optimistic here. Um, do I think it'll contain a Booster Course Pass Wave 3 announcement? It'd be stupid not to, but no. It'd be stupid not to, but no. Um, they just released Wave 2 a month ago, so... They probably want to ride that high as long as possible. And then announce Wave 3. Um, so I... I do not think it's very likely. But it could be possible. Let's pull another pipe. Since we can. And it's a... Ah, I got Knight Luigi. Yay. Cool. Haha. <laughs> Screw you, game. And we... Completed a tour challenge. Nice. And I'm actually going to complete the of it the cup I have available before diving headfirst into grinding the rank cup. Just because I want to be caught up. Or just because I want I want the all clear pipe. To get the all clear pipe, we of course have to play the tour and play every cup, so. Yeah. Yeah, I want the all clear pipe, so. Yeah. Of course, I have talked talked at length about my future on YouTube. 
Um, and that I'm pretty much doing a massive reshuffle of everything. Now, I'm not deleting anything from my main channel that has already been posted. All that stuff will remain on my main channel, and I'm not going to delete anything non-Minecraft related from my Minecraft channel. All of the stuff that are currently on my channels will stay there. Just that anything new will be posted to their correct respective channels. Yeah, anything new will be posted to their correct respective channels. Um, but I want to talk about Sonic Cross You Stupid Adventures Future. Now, SPC the sequel has been indefinitely postponed. I have no clue when I'll be able to post, or er, I have no idea when I'll be able to work on the movie again. Maybe sometime later this month or something. Team Mario is winning. Heh. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's break item boxes. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, Sonic Plus Stupid Adventures, I've kind of been trying to return to its roots and make more simple videos that are just, you know, just simple dumb fun. I've been trying to push that lately. I've been trying to push that lately. Just making making simple content. That's just again simple dumb fun. You know, like I did back in 2016 and such. You know, like I did back in 2016 and such. Um, yeah, it's just meant to be simple, dumb fun. And yes, I am also trying to be up... Or I'm also trying to up my editing game, too. Just because... I, you know, want that to be the best it can be as well. Um, but yeah, let's grind the rank cup. Let's grind the rank cup, since... I am falling very behind. Um, I am currently in seventh. I'm currently ranked seventh, so. Yeah, you bet your ass your girl wants to fix that. But, yeah. <laughs> ah, first place, yay. <laughs> but yeah, so... Cup for the remainder of this video. Banana Frenzy! Banana Frenzy. And we got third. That is guardable. Let's 
Let's see. Team Mario is still winning. Yeah, so this is pretty much going to be what I'm doing for the remainder of the episode, is grinding out the rank cup. Um, but yeah. Now, I do... Um, now I don't know if it will be for an entire season or just a couple videos, but I do eventually want to take fan suggestions. Or, yeah, suggestions from you guys. Yeah, I want to take suggestions from you guys and make videos based off of you, your guys' suggestions because I want to get more input from you guys in terms of content. Yeah, so, I don't know if I can accumulate enough ideas for an entire season, or... Um, if it'll just be for a couple videos, I'd like to accumulate a, enough ideas for an entire season. But again, don't know how possible that would be. Was that a little bit better? Yeah, that was a little bit better. How did Team Mar- Wow. Not good enough, though. Um... Wait, what's the lowest top shelf I can go? Huh. What's in the... What's in the tier shop? Ooh. Rose Queen. And I'll grab this too. There we go. So let's just try out Ghost Valley 2, see if we can get at least a decent score with with the middle shelf characters. But yeah, so... Now, I don't think I've actually openly discussed what I'd want my ideal Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart Ultimate or whatever it's going to be to look like, so I'm going to talk about that in this in this video. Now, obviously I'd ideally want it to be Mario Kart Ultimate. Bring in every character, every track, every cart component, every mode. from every past Mario Kart game and shove it in. And you can even organize the tracks by, yeah, you can even organize the tracks by the console. Um, actually, I'm going to use white to new because that's the most up to or he's higher in points than Knight Luigi. Yeah, I am sacrificing event tokens for points. 
Yeah, so... Yeah, I ideally want every character, every cart component, every item, every mode, every, just everything that has been in a past Mario Kart game represented somehow in Mario Kart Ultimate. Um, and how they could organize the track selection menu is instead of the different cups, they could organize it by um, what console the track was released on. So all these Super Nintendo tracks would be um, organized under, of course, Super Nintendo. All the N64 tracks would be Organized under, of course, N64. All the GBA tracks would be organized under GBA. Um, all the um, Double Dash tracks would be organized under um, GCN. And all the um, Uh, Wii DS tracks would be organized under DS, all the Wii tracks would be organized under Wii, all the 3DS tracks would be organized under 3DS, um, and all the Wii U slash Switch tracks would be organized under Wii U slash Switch. And maybe they, and maybe if they're feeling generous, even though that's over 150 courses already, maybe if they're feeling generous, they'll give us 16 brand new tracks as well. Maybe they'll bring in 16 brand new tracks as well. Because that'd be pretty neat. Nintendo did that. Ah, first. Yeah, so... Oh, and bring in the tour tracks as well. Those deserve to be represented in a Mario Kart Ultimate as well, since Nintendo does consider tour a mainline Mario Kart. Really? Really? That was some tomfoolery right there, and I will not stand for it. Now that was some tomfoolery right there, and I will not stand for it. Um, but yeah, now, you notice how I said every mode? Well, that's because I'd love to see Double Dash represented as a mode, because everyone don't think Double Dash would be viable as its own game again. Carrying, or the double dash mechanic carrying the whole game was just a one trick pony, so having it as a mode in a new Mario Kart would be 
the ideal scenario, in my humble opinion. Um, now... I'd also like to see a tour styled like high score mode. Like, I like tour's point system. Um, I think it actually adds an extra layer of competitiveness to the already competitive Mario Kart. Because not only are you trying for. Not only are you trying for first place but you're also trying for the highest possible score. And I think that would be great. As its own mode. Because I just like the arcadey nature of Mario Kart Tour in general. Oh. Yeah, I just like the arcadey nature of Mario Kart Tour in general. I think it's... I think it's great. Yeah, you just pick up tour, play a couple races, and hop off that. <laughs> Whoops. I find myself doing that often. But, now I'd also like to... Now, for an arcadey high score mode like this to be fun, I think they should... Um, up it from two laps to three. Um, more opportunity to get a high score. Um, if it was the standard three laps instead of the um, instead of tours two. Am I going to get a decent score for that? No. Unfortunately. I am going to need a frenzy for... I am going to need a frenzy to get my score any higher than that. I'll see how long I've been recording for. 23 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to end it off here. See you guys later. Bye for now.